So today I got an unboxing of some more uh, police equipment for my duty belt. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys it. So we're gonna start off with this little package. This is from Oregon Trail Defense. Uh, the, all packages are pre-cut and shipping notices removed. Uh, so this is a nub mod. The nub mod is, whoa, where do I have one? Here's one. This is a nub mod. What it does is it goes on the release for a Safari Land holster and makes it bigger and puts it at a different angle, which makes the gun easier to release. Um, so you do get faster, more consistent draws with this. Uh, just be aware, it technically does make it easier for somebody else to get your gun, but in my opinion, that I'd much, much rather have a faster, more consistent draw than more safety. Uh, so yeah, I own, this will be my fourth one of those that I own. Uh, and you'll see why I bought this in a second. And for like a price that they are, they're such a good upgrade. If you do get the level one uh, nub mod like I did, I highly recommend that you get their grip tape option. It costs like 30 cents or you could, you know, go to the store and get your own. I just got theirs. Sorry, pre-cut and I'm lazy. But it's just some adhesive grip tape and it goes on that because it's extremely smooth, especially if you get water, sweat or blood or something like that on you. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to draw that, I think. And then it just comes with a couple little advertising thingies. They do a lot of stippling stuff too, so. Next. This, uh. <laughs> Never mind. This is not what I thought it was. I didn't look in there. I just cut it and pulled out the paperwork. I thought this was something else, but, um. Yeah, okay. This is not police gear related. This is gaming related. These are Astro uh, chat cables for my Astro headset because. My cable broke, and I can't get these anywhere in town, so I have to order them. So I ordered two. These are freaking expensive for what they are. Uh, next, I have what I've been really, really anxious for for like a week now. This is a Safari Land 6390, uh, I believe. We'll find out in just a second. Here it is. It's a left-handed STX basket weave level one holster. You can see, let's see, 6390 RDS-832 for a Glock 1722 with an ITM3 light. And I cannot really make out what that bottom says. That's uh, not that important. This holster is an upgrade to my current duty holster, which is a Safariland 6390-832, uh, the exact same holster. This one just is an RDS which just means that it can't accommodate an optic like this one can because here's a hood for an optic so an optic will you know sit right here and this hood will come over and protect it from elements and stuff like that um you have some paperwork inside so i always recommend uh, to unload your gun if you try it in your holster because sometimes they put little things like that in there i don't exactly like that they do that but whatever uh so here's my current holster, my duty holster. I have an RD Guard Gear tourniquet strut and 1110 Ridge tourniquet holder with a North American Rescue Cat Jism tourniquet and a bunch of yellow Velcrud. Uh, below, I have the barrel plug, but I have a Ghost Designs portal, a Safari Lane QLS fork, and an Oregon Trail Defense nut mod, and obviously the little guard to protect from people getting to it from the front. Uh, on this holster, this has nothing because it's stock. Uh, <laughs> this will be my new duty, Mola, my new duty holster, and I'm gonna put all types of upgrades on this holster. Um, they're already on the way. This is one of them. And yeah, the whole reason I wanted an optic holster is because I will soon have a Glock that has an optic on it. Not this particular one, a Gen Five. Um, a lot of guys are going to them now, and they really like them, so I want to give it a shot. Never had an optic uh, handgun, but these, oh, my bad. These will work without an optic on the gun uh, and without a light, so you don't have to have a light. You don't have to have an optic. If all you have right now is a Glock and you want to work your way up to a red dot and a weapon light, um, you don't have the money right now or something, just go ahead and get the RDS holster because you're going to save yourself money in the long run by just buying one holster. And as you can see, it does work.
It's in there, it's not coming out. And then if you need it, it'll come out. So that is uh, my video of my small little unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.